<coughs> Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this damn mental house. With me, your illustrious host, Khadija. Um, I'm going to make this a little simple. And I'm talking to a specific group. And you should know who you are by now. Okay? Um, how many of y'all have ever been in a car wreck out there? How many of y'all have ever been into a car wreck? Well, if you're lucky enough, you know, to have insurance as, you know, is required in most states, um, you know, when you have an accident, they send the insurance adjuster out. He assesses the damage. Um, and decides, um, you know, hey, what should we do with this problem? So either the car is going to be put in for repairs or your vehicle is a total loss. Am I right? And if it is a total loss, then it can only probably be used for spare parts. Now, I want you to just think about this. Okay? Because this story was told to me about mm, 1992. During the Stop the Violence Tour. So, I want to relive that right now. For some of y'all was barely born. Some of y'all wasn't born. But if you don't know and you didn't know, um, the black male organs fit in everybody. In anybody. Well, of course, except a baby. But you have the most chance of surviving with those type those organs. Thus, you see the the black man always um, involved in um, killings and and death. And in a lot of these deaths, black women as well. But the number one. Is black men. My memory serves me correctly. What happens is. A lot of these times. People are getting their. Especially their young vital. Teenagers. Young athletic. Fine. Um, well structured. Black men. Um, a lot of them finding these young men. With their spare parts missing. This should not be a coincidence to y'all. Now it's time for you to listen and take notes. So don't take my word for it. We can go back with, start with Kanika Jenkins. We can even go back a little further and do some investigation at that. What is Rosemont, um, uh, Illinois, really about? And the whole branch of those hotels. What was it? What, what were the, the what were the Hiltons? What was the Hiltons? I can't. Uh. Um. And look and see how when you go, it's almost like the hotel from hell. They have the uh let me let me um 
let me let me grab my yeah it was those uh crown plaza hotels not only um was a uh, Kanika Jenkins found in there uh and with uh questionable questions regarding her body parts this has been going they they found in Horizon uh, I mean, in Rosemont, a organ salvaging hoistering place there. Right there. In Rosemont. Okay, so this has been going on for a while. And that's what validates what I say when I, when I mean that. At this point, black people are only good for their spare parts. Uh, and we need to understand that a lot of this killing that's being blamed on us, a lot of it is us uh, because the machine is, is in full effect now. It's like self-perpetuating. And so it's a real scary time. But you need to understand that as far as we're concerned, we are no longer useful to the dominant society. And so with that being said, to know that you are only good for your spare parts should make you love yourself a little bit more and make you love your neighbor. A little bit more. I don't know. I'm just saying. Tell me what you think. Because I'm coming up with. Too many stories. Just like. Um, uh, uh, Day. Now he's found. With his organs missing. The same thing about the young man. I think in Georgia. Who they found rolled up in the mat. And now they said he'd been stuffed with newspaper. Trayvon Martin. They said had an autopsy and stuff. Before his parents even got him out of the morgue. Before they even knew he was dead I mean. Look. Keep them body parts warm. Because the rich and the elite. Can afford them. And you poor black people that want to stay alive and brown people that want to stay alive. <laughs> At whose expense? Certainly not theirs. Tell me what you think. See you in the next video.